All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mortal Kombat for the Sega Genesis. Now, we're all familiar with the uh, blood code, A-B-A-C-A-B-B. -B. We're all familiar with the other blood code, Dullard, down up, left, left, A, right, down. But have you ever seen the uh, fatalities in this game without the blood code? Well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through uh, every character and their fatality, or finishing move in this one, and just see how ridiculous these uh, finishers were on the Sega Genesis without the blood, blood code. So we are not going to put any codes in. We'll go to options. Yeah, I've already done that. And uh, we are going to first, and we're just going to go through every, uh, every character and their uh, finishing move. I'm going to test out a little bit of my uh, editing skills again and uh, kind of combine it all into one uh, fluid video. <laughs> but I am going to uh, talk over it uh, while, while I play. So the, uh, the motion for all the uh, finishers in this are the same as the arcade, with the exception of Kano. Kano's is back-back low punch. So first, let's, uh, let's see what Johnny Cage has to offer in the uh, no blood version, no blood code, Mortal Kombat for the Genesis. So this was uh, a lot of people's favorite version, this over the Super Nintendo. It made sense. This version plays better, it's smoother, uh, while the sound effects are pretty crappy, the graphics aren't as good. I mean, it still plays like Mortal Kombat, and uh, that's a big deal. The controls are still very responsive, and uh, they work well, and it's just fun. So that's that's a big deal. <laughs> and because of that, this was a lot of uh, people's favorite version of the game. And the music is funky as ever. It's a very good version. It just, you know, it doesn't sound like the arcade still looks graphically it looks really good and there you go Johnny Cage's finishing move all right our second character up Kano now, Kano uh, he's got his uh, knife move here but uh, somebody had mentioned in the comments that it looks like a pillow <laughs> that's actually kind of funny So what does uh, Kano do for his uh, finishing move? So Johnny Cage does that ridiculous kick. Let's see what Kano does. All his moves are still the same. The thing in this one too is when you actually hit your opponent, it doesn't sound powerful at all. <laughs> it sounds very weak. Here we go. Back, back, low punch, reaches in, pulls out a balaclava. All right, who's next? All right, up next we have Raiden. Raiden looks cool. You got the lightning coursing through him during the uh, during the game when he just stands still. Honey marmalade intact, but without any speech whatsoever. What is his fatality like in this one? I like the sound of the lightning, to be honest. Sounds kind of cool. Well, let's see what Raiden has for his uh, finisher in this one. It's uh, forward, back, back, back. High punch. Honey marmalade. You gotta make your own sound effects when you're playing. All right. He basically electrocutes you very cheaply. Who's next? All right, up next we have Liu Kang. Now you can see something flying across the moon there. That's kind of cool. But without the blood code, there is no... Uh, there's nothing at the bottom of the pit. That's one thing. As far as I know, if you do the uppercut, it will not knock him into the pit. Now, the uh, the motion for his pit uh, finisher, and I'm going to call it a finisher because it's not a fatality without blood. 
is uh, the same. It's just a uh, hold block and do a 360 motion on the controller. And uh, that's it. All right, no sound effects for Liu Kang, sadly. You don't hear no Wah! boom boom. And that's it. So it's the exact same as the arcade, that one. Who's next? All right, Wait. next up we have Scorpion. Thank goodness he still says get over here. You'll notice uh, Shang Tsung does not look at you. He simply looks, uh, looks forward. And that's about it. There's no pillars in the uh, level for this as well. They took the uh, pillars out. Now Scorpion's uh, Fatality in this is the exact same as the arcade, I believe. Which is silly to me because, you know, they removed the blood, but they kept a, a finisher where he still kills his opponent. Simply hold block, up, up. There you have it. Beautiful as ever. Scorpion wins. All right, Sub-Zero in Goro's Lair. I do like the music in this uh, this level. I think it sounds awesome. I love the glowing eyes in the background. I think this level looks really cool. Sub-Zero's Fatality, however. Uh, finishing move, however. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see what he does. Forward, down, forward, high punch. We're on the Genesis uh, three-button controller. Forward, down, forward, A. Excellent. We will see his excellent fatality. What a 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 what All right, to finish off our fatality demonstration, none other than Sonya. Sonya's beautiful kiss of death. Once again, back. oh, there we go. Almost forgot how to do her uh, ring toss in this one. But uh, once again, her fatality remains intact. I believe, anyways, I think so. It'd be kind of cool if they uh, changed all of them. Uh, when, the, when the game is centered, that would have been kind of cool. Just because, uh, you know, why not? They already changed a couple things. Sub-Zero's looks ridiculous. It's just an uppercut. Here we go. Forward, forward, back, back, block, kiss, fire, death. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The seven finishers from uh, the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat. Turn this down a bit. Uh, as you can see, they were pretty lame, but now overall, the game was still good. It was good because the Super Nintendo version didn't have any of this, didn't have the uh, fluid animation. <laughs> no, it had good animation and it had horrible uh, latency though between the controller and the system. It was just, it was a mess for controls and that really ruined the Super Nintendo version until you got used to it, which I did, of course. But this version overall was probably more fun to play back in the day. I didn't play it as much. I barely played it back in the day on the Genesis. So I got used to the Super Nintendo version, but the Genesis version was very competent. Now, without the blood code, it was still good. The finishers were lame, but three of them remain intact. And, you know, the other ones, whatever. It was, the game wasn't just about finishing moves. It was about, uh, you know, fun and kicking each other's asses. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, there you have it. Um, the seven finishers, Mortal Kombat 1 and the Sega Genesis. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.